Hi, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, um, which is me sorting out a load of stock for eBay. Now, um, if you're new to my channel, I'm Jack, I'm a part-time reseller, I work in architecture, um, I've been working in architecture full-time for the last two years, but I'm about to head off down to London to start my master's degree in architecture, as well as working part-time in an architecture office, and I'm moving, obviously, all my eBay stock with me. Um, I've bought a lot of stock recently, um, that's all explained in my um, sort of eBay update video that I would have posted very recently, so feel free to watch that and it explains it. But today I am tackling my bedroom here at my nan's house because it is full of stock and I need to sort it all out into what I'm prioritising getting listed for autumn coming and then winter, and then spring, summer next year. And so that way I can bring it down to London with me as and when, and just take um, relevant stuff. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we're dealing with. So it's a little bedroom and I have filled it. So everything down here, all of that is charity shop stuff that I've bought. And it fills the entire side of the bed. We've got bags, we've got piles, all sorts of boxes. And then all of this, and there's still more to come, there's still more in the post, is Vinted. I have bought so much off Vinted recently. And in this IKEA bag, we have a load of these storage bags that I'm using to sort all my stock into. There's also some breakable items on here. These are all from the charity shop. And I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle them because I'm not sure what I'll be able to take with me in terms of packaging supplies um, because boxes and bubble wrap is very bulky and I've been very lucky having had a double garage here to store it all in for the last two years um, and in London I will only have my bedroom so um, yeah not sure about the breakable stuff there's not much of it thankfully so we'll see but what I'm going to do is pull all of this down into the living room here because that's where I've got the most space to work with and start sorting it into piles of autumn stock, winter stock, spring stock and well, spring summer. I'm just going to bulk that in together I think and we'll see what we've got to work with and then I can um, put it into the storage bags and then I know know what I'm dealing with properly then because at the moment I'm not quite sure how much of what I have. So I actually had um a quick break I went home to get some lunch and I got the the dog because uh, my parents are away at the moment and he's not been here since my nan went into the home she went into the home a year ago and um, he just made me fill up with tears because he still knew exactly which driveway was hers and they used to have a little routine when we'd come to visit where you'd run straight into the lounge and jump on her and give her a kiss. And then they'd go straight through to the kitchen to the corner where the biscuit jar is and she'd get him a biscuit. And he came into the bungalow and he ran into the lounge looking for her and she wasn't there. And he ran into the kitchen and ran to the corner for his biscuit. So I had to give him his biscuit. And yeah, first time that's happened since she's moved and uh it uh made me a bit emotional anyway enough of this interlude you're not here for my emotions um i'm gonna get cracking and get all of this stuff shifted into the lounge so i can start sorting through it so as you can see i've moved the coffee table all the way to that side of the room so i've got all of this floor space and Charlie to work with. So, start bringing stuff through. I'll put you on a time lapse. <laughs>
take my shirt off because it's a very muggy day today. It's about 23 degrees, but the sun's not actually out. Very humid. But this room is looking completely different now. Here we have Charlie. The hard goods are still there, because like I said, I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet. And this stuff, that's all actually listed. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with that as well. Those are for charity. And that's a load of gifts that I've bought. And then around here is more or less completely empty. So those are a couple of things that are mine that I've bought for myself. But all of this is empty and there's just the light for my tripod, my ring light. So yeah, it's looking completely different in here now. However, the rest of the bungalow is an absolute shambles. So let me take you through. So in here we have my shirt. Look at all the empty bags, okay? So we've got two big paper bags. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags for life, all empty. The only thing is there's a poly mailer in there. This stack of cardboard, there's still a little bit of cardboard left in the living room. So if we come through here, look at this mountain of stock. Oh my gosh. When you see it all like that, that's actually quite overwhelming. Um, and there's some more cardboard here. Those are my IKEA bags that I'm going to be using to store it all in. I'm not sure I have enough, scarily. And yeah, some more bags that are empty. Look at it all. Oh my God. Right, well, I'll probably just do a long ass time lapse of me sorting through it all and packing it away. I need some water first. <laughs> shattered after that but that is a really good job done um so that's four well it's going to be five bags of autumn winter stock by the time the rest of this stuff from vintage turned up and two of spring summer so yeah that's fine um obviously it means i've got plenty to go at when i get down to london um Annoyingly though, one of the bags has broken and that's pissed me off because it's literally the first time you're using it. So I think I've realised you can't put them under too much strain, don't overfill them. However, there was next to no strain on that whatsoever and the stitching just has ripped open. Um, I just don't think I have the skill or can be bothered to stitch that back up. So I'm just gonna have to buy another bag to replace it. But I'm gonna have to buy some more anyway, cause like I say, I've still got some stock, got a little pile of stock that's not bagged and there's more coming. So yeah, I need to go to Ikea anyway, cause I was planning on buying a new desk and desk chair to take with me to uni. <sighs> but yeah, I'm absolutely shattered and a sweaty mess. Cause like I say, it's still very humid and I've, Sillily left the conservatory door open and it's letting all the hot air in because as you know conservatories get boiling hot when it's warm. So yes we have this little pile of shoes and bags. We have this little pile of autumn winter stock. Four full bags of autumn winter stock and two bags of spring summer. Hello Charlie. But yeah this this is what happened. The stitching just ripped straight out of it. I think they just stitched too close to the seam allowance. Um, 
But anyway, what can you do? I want to do is have a look at the built-in wardrobe in this bedroom and see if I can stack these bags in there so that they are out of sight and out of the way. It's this wardrobe in here, but it has got stuff in it, such as my nan's original 1960s stand-up hair dryer. Let me show you properly. Yeah, so this was bought in the 60s. You can see the stand down there. She's also got a vintage Electrolux vacuum cleaner. And I've got actually a few jackets in here and in that box down there that I've been, I've got listed to sell at the moment that um, I'm probably going to take back home with me. I've got all of my stock, my listed stock in one place and then it'll make it easier for me to pack up next week. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. I need to go home and have some tea because it's almost six o'clock. Right, so I've just been um, faffing around procrastinating, seeing how well this ancient Hoover works. And it works fabulously because obviously it was made long before the EU regulations massively reduced how powerful a Hoover could be. Anyway, that aside, I've managed to get all six bags into this wardrobe and I'm so happy. Let me show you. So here we go. They're all stacked and it's not even that precarious to be fair, they're, they're stacked well um, and the hairdryer still fits in there with the other stuff that was in the bottom of the wardrobe and I can just shut these doors and it's all away. So everything, bar those few items that are left, that was all the way around here and all here is now all in there. We've still got these. As I say, not sure what I'm doing with them yet. And these jackets are coming home with me because they're listed stock. The gifts that I've got, I need to take them home and figure out what I'm doing with them because I bought them ages ago. They're all candles, I'm not going to lie. So was, they were really cheap in the anthropology sale. So my logic was like I should buy them and then they're the gifts and I haven't given them as gifts. So it's now whether I actually want to sell them or donate them or think just think about what I'm going to do with them. So I just want to quickly bag up the stuff, the shoes and bags, and that little pile there. And that's me done for today. Um, I need to sort the garage out next. Um, might do that tomorrow, but that's all my stuff for moving down to London, as in like my belongings from when I was at uni in Liverpool that I brought home and have been sat in that garage ever since for the last two years. And now I'm going to be needing them again um, in my new house in London. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I feel really productive for having got that sorted out because that room was stressing me out. I don't think my mum had seen it like that because if she had done, she would have lost her mind. I know she would. Um, so I'm glad I've got that sorted. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been remotely enjoyable. And I'll see you all again soon with another video. Bye.